Hey Nick, thanks for sending me your swim videos of you doing the drills. Definitely, um, I see much improvement um, from the first video. Body alignment looks good. Um, I'm impressed with the kick on side drill. You're keeping your head down. You turn your head to breathe. You're not looking too far up and you're not lifting your neck. You're taking a breath after you rotate to breathe. That's actually the proper way to do it. And I can tell when you're breathing, you're not necessarily, um, your body alignment is staying okay. Your, your legs aren't sinking. Um, there's just a, like a little slight, a slightness um, that could possibly happen. Just keep your head down um, and take that breath after you rotate. I really like how, while you're kicking on your side, how your hand, your fingertips are pointed down and your arm is, you know, a few inches below the surface of the water. It's not flat and shallow. So really good job on that. Um, thumb slide drill looks really good. You're, I can see and you, I know you can feel yourself sliding your thumb up the side of your body. A lot of people um, don't, they, they can't comprehend that. You know, I watch people when I'm on deck and I ask them, can you feel your thumb up the side of your body all the way up to your armpit? And they say yes. And, and then I show them their video and I'm like, there's no way that you can feel that because you're not doing it. So that looks really good. That thumb slides definitely, or sorry, the thumb slide and the kick on side drill is definitely going to set you up for um, a nice um, double pump drill, which is a combination of putting the thumb slide drill and the kick on side drill together. When you can get that double pump um, drill going, that's really when you know you have um, really good body balance um, and alignment um, to set you up for um, the next phase would be, you know, getting you set up for a good propulsive phase. So here we are going on the double pump drill, um, looking pretty good. I think the one thing I'd say is maybe, you know, as you're doing double pump drill, continue to do the thumb slide drill along with that double pump drill. Again, I like how your hand is entering. Um, you're holding. You're able to hold your hand out there, fingertips down, fingertips below the wrist, below the elbow, while you're pumping your arm up and down your side, because that is the place where you're going to get maximize that catch. When you maximize the catch, that's kind of the anchor. That's going to set you up for a really good um, push behind you. So I think you're definitely ready to go on to that next step where you're focusing on the catch and push part of the stroke that's going to provide you with the most propulsion with every arm stroke. And um, the two main drills for that are going to be the underwater doggy paddle drill and the catch up drill done correctly. I know you have some videos to watch on that. And the main thing is making sure you speed up that catch and push part of your stroke. You, you don't want the recovery and the catch and push arm speed to be the same. You want to maintain that recovery easy. Recovery um, should be easy. And then you just want to put more power and more force behind that push. Um, a good way to do that is wearing hand paddles. You'll feel that resistance and really just, just knowing that that's what you're supposed to do. That is going to um, change the timing of things just slightly, but it's definitely going to increase your arm turnover. Um, and again, it's important to know that you don't want your arm turnover to increase and lose the power and the force. So still always spend, maximize your time getting that strength and then adding the higher turnover is definitely going to make you a faster swimmer. So what I like to do is I like to do a lot of paddles. Um, now that you have the proper technique, doing a lot of paddle workout, paddle and pull buoy, and then taking the paddles off, keep the pull buoy on, and just pulling with the buoy to work on arm speed and arm turnover, and then the combination of the strength you gain with the paddles and then the arm speed turnover that you're going to gain with the head out of the water drill, that's a arm speed drill, as well as just pulling with faster arms. 
without the paddles, you know, kind of the combination of those two is going to make you a faster, stronger, efficient swimmer. So everything looks good. And I look forward to following you and your progress. Make it a great day.